All right, join me for a Sunday Uber vlog. Let's get to it. Welcome to a Sunday all day Miami Uber vlog. Uh, I was about to vlog yesterday. Yesterday was very smooth. I've been starting early. Been starting early and it's working out for me. I don't think there wasn't there wasn't a single day this week that I didn't make over two hundred dollars by starting early, doing Miami Beach, then doing airport runs. Funny thing about yesterday was I didn't have to do Uber X until later on in the night and I did zero airport runs and I still broke $235 last night. I could have made 300. I charged early, I went to bed early. And by early I mean like two o'clock in the morning where, you know, on a Saturday night you stay till 3.30, 4.30, and you could probably make an extra $100 just driving drunk people from clubs. But I wasn't in the mood. I don't wasn't in the mood. I don't want to be driving intoxicated people when I don't have to. So today's Sunday. It is 2.10 p.m. Oh, 2.10. I made an extra $210 by completing my 200 EV rides, which I think I completed on Wednesday or Tuesday. And I did it early. And I was talking to my buddies how now that the EV rides are counted in like in a quest format where you have that little ticker countdown, you got to kind of try to time it so that you complete the 200 ride thing at the end of the night after you've already made your nut. Because if you make it early in the day, you're liable to get a little lazy, a little complacent. Like, oh, hey, it's Wednesday afternoon. I already hit 200 rides. Got $200 paid right up front. It was $210. It can make you lazy for the rest of the day, but I plowed through. That was a $400 day that day. So, it's because I made 200 and then they paid me 210, so. Was a good day. It was, it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I forget. So I got Premier on. We're going up US one. Might turn Comfort and Electric on in a second, but you gotta let it. You gotta, you gotta let Premier give it time to marinate. Give it time to uh, capture. Driving by UM and the Thesis Hotel here. It's uh, it's days are numbered. These UM kids are are leaving school on May eighth. So, starting May 8th, we say goodbye to all our little UM co-eds. How I will miss thee. I remember this time last year. Well, actually, I remember missing them because, you know, even if they just order Uber X, it's nice to get a little ride right here in the university, right to start your shift, you know? And I'll never forget the pool parties, when they have pool parties, it's just bing, 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 bing. And, you know, they, they, they also go out to the Grove and stuff, that's gonna die out for the summer. Uh, so it's just like, it's just one big block of customers that is leaving your immediate area. And you definitely feel it. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna put on Comfort and Electric, and let's see what we get. Sunday, 2.13 p.m. All right, we are entering Coco Walk. Nothing is ringing yet. I got the three major categories on, everything except green and X. Nothing. Sandbar, that's a UM hangout. That's gonna be dead for the next few months. Is it time to turn on X? Is it gonna be one of those Sundays? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's turn on Uber X and see what the real market is doing. X and green turned on. What do you got for me?
nothing is ringing. Not even X. Interesting. We wait. We wait. Finished the last season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I liked it. Larry David, my hero. I can't be cordial. Oh boy. All right, well, I'll come back when I get a ride. All right, driving down Bayshore, I got a comfort ride to the airport. Now we're going to do that. <laughs> I have to turn around here and go to Key Biscayne though. So it's from Key Biscayne, actually Virginia Key. So we have to head into the island here. I was talking yesterday about the Miami Sea Aquarium with a guy I drove down to Key Biscayne yesterday. How uh, it's shutting down, but they haven't vacated the, the premises yet. Uh, all right, I screen grabbed the. I screen grabbed the um, the ride. So it looks like I'm picking up by the Rusty Pelican and then going into Miami Airport for a little under fifteen dollars. Right on. Maybe I'll get a rematch then. Hopefully a Premier rematch. But Premier rematches haven't been hitting, so I have Premier, Comfort, and Comfort Electric on. Yesterday I got a Comfort rematch off a similar trip, and it was worthwhile. All right, so we go through the toll. The only thing that sucks about going to Kibis Kane is they do charge you a toll to come in. The new building being erected there. The Brickle skyline. All right, well, it's a beautiful view here on the Rickenbacker Bridge, but let's pick this person up and head back to the Miami International Airport. Picking up, dropping off, picking up, dropping off, and it is at the Rusty Pelican, which is that restaurant right there. All right, completing the ride. Let's see if the rematch happens. Give me a rematch, bro. We want premiere. All right, $14.89. Good way to start off the day. Rematch. I was listening to this song, actually the other day because I was like, was this used in Miami Vice? I don't want to get copyright struck, but Bronski B, small town boy. And it was used in an episode of Miami Vice. Well, my, my memory still worked. That's one of the gayest songs on this channel. <laughs> Anyways, no rematch. Nothing. I'm pulling out of American Airlines yesterday those fuckers with the little antennas were blocking signals and stealing rides not just me either a couple guys in the group chat they would get an offer you would hit accept it was usually a premiere offer it happened to me I had a $23 premiere offer I hit accept the little thing started spinning all of a sudden my phone didn't have signal and then the timer was still counting, even though I already clicked accept. It was like my, my Uber account was frozen. And then it said, sorry, an error occurred and I didn't get the ride. And that happened to me three times, almost four, I think, yesterday. A Comfort, a Comfort Electric, and two Premieres. These fuckers have these little antennas, bro. And they're, they're killing driver's signals, all right. Looks like we're going to Fort Lauderdale. Let's do it, fuck it. 45, $44 comfort ride. Anyways, Vinny, lower level, fuck. Damn, I hate this, now I gotta tell this guy. Hello, I'm in a black Tesla and I'll meet you at arrivals door nine, period. I'll have my hazard lights on. Fuck. 
This guy's literally right under me. I could ask him to just come up. Let me call him. Fuck it. Because I'm at nine right now. Like, I'm literally where I'm supposed to pick him up, but upstairs. I'm gonna pull over here. Hi, Brian. I know. Um, I was dropping somebody off when I got your ride. So I'm at door nine, but departures. Do you think you can find a way upstairs? I'm at door nine. I'm literally above you. The numbers correlate the same upstairs and downstairs. So if, if you find an elevator or an escalator, I'll be here. I'm in a black Tesla. I'll have my hazard lights flashing. Thank you. All right. Well, he's coming up. So we got lucky on this one. I don't necessarily want to go to Fort Lauderdale, but I will. You know, that's, that's not a bad trip. Let me put the camera away. All righty then. We are at the W. Fort Lauderdale. How am I supposed to get around this guy? $44 trip. I couldn't say no, even though the drive wasn't that great. I told him, yeah, I didn't, I didn't say anything to this guy. He didn't seem like he wanted to chat, so I stayed quiet. And um, it was coming from London, too. You also got to realize, when these people are on, like, 10-hour flights, sometimes they just want to get the fuck to their hotel and and their trip, you know, and their travel. They don't necessarily want to chit chat. Hey! No fucking way! I guess he appreciated the silence. Tipped me almost 15 bucks. $58 ride to Fort Lauderdale. Not bad. A18 Beachfront Avenue. Girls in bikinis driving Lamborghinis. <laughs> All right, so I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I didn't plan on this, but that's the fun of these vlogs, right? It's a beautiful day out here. Imagine being on vacation here. You know, I should text Vinny. He was Vinny Cuz texted me earlier today that he's got those floor mats. I texted him the other night, and I went to go do the Panthers game. I just ended up in Weston somewhere by I-75 and I saw in the opportunities there was a Panthers playoff game and uh, I fished out a comfort ride up there and I gave him a call because I know he lives in that area um, but maybe I should text him he says he's got those floor mats Let's see where he's at wow what a beautiful day today some of us have to work huh? some of us have to work all right, we're here. All right, I ended up here by sunrise and I saw that bridge going up. I'd rather just go back down A1A. <laughs> I'm waiting, wasting time on the bridge. What if I get an offer, you know? Maybe I'll get something here on the beach. Nothing's ringing on Comfort and Electric. I don't even know if Comfort Electric exists in Fort Lauderdale Beach, to be honest with you. A lot of random areas that Comfort Electric just doesn't, it's not even available to the customer. So I turned on X, all right. Coral Ridge Mall, 15 minutes, no. Where's the Coral Ridge Mall? I'm not as familiar with Fort Lauderdale as I am. Oh, it's this mall. No, it's up north. I'm not gonna accept this. Right lane only. So whatever, we're here for Lauderdale Beach. What are we gonna do? Just hang back, try to do a few short rides. Maybe, maybe I'll go back to the Fort Lauderdale Airport, try to springboard a ride out of the Fort Lauderdale Airport. I'll say I think this week a lot of the F1 people, the F1's coming up next weekend, people. I still haven't figured out. Last year I vlogged every day. It's a three-day event. 
Last year I made a vlog for every day, but this year I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the time to properly edit three vlogs. I might do a sporadic vlog and just do one long one. But I don't know. Maybe I'll film three vlogs and just edit them after the event or whenever I have time. But the F1 is kind of like, I'm excited about it, but at the, in the other hand, I'm like, fuck bro. That's kind of like our last hurrah here as, as far as high-end events that bring in the high-end rides. It's premiere only time. There's only a few times where you do only premiere. Art Basel, Ultra Music Festival, F1. The tennis event, kind of, but this year the tennis event was kind of dead. I think they made a mistake changing the venue. Oh, that's what I was talking about, right? The Kibi Skane, I was talking about how the tennis event was moved from Kibi Skane to Hard Rock Hotel. And I think that it suffered. All right, here we go. We're going to, hey, yes! We are going back to the Fort Lauderdale Airport. Hopefully we'll get a rematch. And it's right here. Where are you at? Oh, now Vinny texts me back. I'm up here now. Damn it. Maybe he can meet me at the airport lot. All right, I have to make this... I have to make this turn. All right, I'll see you at the Fort Lauderdale Airport. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. All right, completed this ride. Let's see if I get a rematch. If not, I guess we head into the airport lot. I don't know. I got Vinny telling me he's by... The Galleria Mall. So I might text him back and see if I can meet up with him. Because I every time I'm up here, I miss Vinny. And he's got those mats for me. So it'd be nice to have nice mats for this thing, even though who knows how long we'll have this car. So I got my surgery coming up in June. Stressing out a little bit about that, you know? Sometimes I think, like, do, why, do I, why am I even getting this surgery? It's like... Why not just limp for the rest of my life? How, how much longer could it be? <laughs> how much longer am I gonna live? I'm not, I'm not training for the Olympics anytime soon, but it might, it might get worse and it might collapse, so I have to do it. But it's just, I'm scared because I think it's gonna change my life. Like what if it doesn't help me? It's a major operation. All right, no rematch. I'm not getting anything. All right, I'm going to text Vinny and see if I can meet up with him. All right, I'm going to meet Vinny at the Charger on Sunrise. Too bad it's at 41 cents a kilowatt. I'm at 55%. I don't need to charge, but maybe I should leave it there for five or ten minutes. But. 41 cents, it's fucking killing you, bro. Just charge enough to to last until, let's see, it's 441 now. At eight o'clock, you could find some cheap char cheaper chargers, so. I just need it to last me a few hours. That's exciting, this is the first time I meet Vinny. I always, I talk to him online and when I've been on the garage show but face to face I've never met him so join me maybe you can give me some tips on how to uh, navigate Sundays up here you know what I have I don't think I've ever vlogged the Henry E. Kinney tunnel maybe at night I have during spring break it gets super bright in here like daylight. And if you're like on nighttime mode on your Tesla or your thing, it turns into nighttime mode down here. Or vice versa or something. Yeah, yeah, if it's yeah, if it's dark and you come in here, it gets so light that your your screen thinks it's in daytime. Alright. We made it out. 
All right, I'm here at the uh, Sunrise Chargers with none other than Vinny Cuz. He's filming. He just gave me these uh, Model 3 mats. Ready to go. Check them out. That is the Runaway Band brand. And uh, yeah, thumbs up on these. How we doing, Vinny? Oh, shit. Say hi to, Mario! The, say hi to Mario's vlog. <laughs> Mario, what's going on, buddy? How Not are much, you, man? much, buddy. Just here. Thanks for the mats, man. Dude, absolutely. My pleasure, bro. My pleasure. Yeah. You know, they're good solid mats, and I know you're doing a lot of the uh, the Premier rides. Premier. <laughs> you got to drag the R. Uh, sorry, bro. Listen, I left Dade County 14 years ago. We, <laughs> we, we're not doing all that. You know, I mean, I, I drive up to Fort Lauderdale quite a bit. I just never had the chance to come up here and meet you. No, I, uh, I, I'm happy to be here. I am really happy to be here. Glad to meet you finally. I'm just watching the... Uh, What's going on behind you? There's always something going on in Fort Lauderdale, South Florida. All right, they're, they're like checking out the superchargers here. Careful, Vinny, your fucking Tesla's gonna blow up. <laughs> I'm not charging because it's at 41 cents and I'm at 55, so I don't really need to charge. But now that we got the freaking bomb squad here. That's a close. Well, somebody must have called them. I know I went to that first car. Much back way. I went to the young lady went. I went to that first car and there was nothing there, so. All right, maybe I'll charge for five minutes just to be safe. <laughs> I met Mario. All right. Say, take your care, Vinny. All right, brother. Well, I was just shooting the shit. Take Remember, care. Tesla. Shooting the shit here with Vinny for the last, I don't know, half hour. Easy hour. Uh, great guy. I'm glad I got to meet him and in person for the first time. And uh, we're going to be seeing each other soon, right? Yes, sir. Let's hang out. Have lunch. Talk over some shit. Maybe we'll get you on the red chair. All right, <laughs> take care, Vinny. All right, so let's activate and see where this day text takes us. All right, we are in the Galleria Mall. I'm gonna turn everything on and see if I can get a ride going back somewhere to the airport, to Miami, or maybe I just stay around this area. But it was, it was, it was great catching up with Vinny. You know, he's a very smart guy and we caught up with a lot of shit that's been going on in our lives. And uh, it's good to have somebody like him. And he hooked it up with these floor mats. It's good to have him. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a mentor, man. He's got a channel that, um, that he does well on. Um, and I kind of, I admire that. I admire that. All right, so let's head back to Fort Lauderdale Beach and see if we can get a ride. It's nice taking a little break. I think when Vinny first saw me, he didn't realize I was like this tall. And I get that a lot from people. I'm 6'2", which is, you know, it's not super tall, but it's tall. And uh, I thought, I thought he was pretty tall too. I guess maybe YouTube makes everybody look short or maybe Maybe it's people who film in their cars a lot. Like, you just assume they're always sitting down. Is that a thing? When you meet gig tubers who are always in their car, you don't, you can't gauge how tall they are. I guess when I was door dashing, I would have full frame shots of me delivering. Anyway. Yeah, it was good, man. We're talking about YouTube a little bit. We talked about um, buying Tesla stock got a nice portfolio that was telling them how I used to be a futures and options uh, broker but those days are behind me I don't even remember half the stuff I learned uh, yeah man all, all around good guy good guy and I'm uh, I'm lucky I got to uh, spend some time with and I'd love to sit down and shoot the shit with him on the red chair. That would be, man, 
He is from Miami, legit. He thought I was born and raised in Miami, which, you know, sometimes people get that vibe because, you know, I came here when I was 14, but I always tell people when I lived in LA, my, my family, we would come, we'd be back and forth from Miami to Los Angeles. So I remember the Miami of the 80s. I used to come here every summer. At least twice a year I would come here. Okay, <clears throat> I was getting just some horrible X rides that I canceled or declined, rather. And I think I'm just gonna wait at the airport lot because I don't know. I just don't have a strategy for Fort Lauderdale Beach on Sunday <laughs> afternoon. I don't know what I'm doing up here. I'm kind of like, okay, now what? It's weird because it's not like I'm not accustomed to doing Fort Lauderdale. It's just a weird time of the year. Like, I remember a few, few months ago I was up here, I was doing a lot of comfort rides, but comfort ain't, ain't, ain't landing, ain't landing. So I'm just gonna wait in the airport lot, hopefully maybe I'll get something that uh, slingshots me back down to Miami. And that's that. All right, entering the Fort Lauderdale airport lot. This lot is never closed, that I can tell. <laughs> I've never been here and it's been shut off and I have to do circles around the airport lot. This lot is always open. And boy, when you come up here at night, it's so dark, you could take a long little nap here. Happened to one of the guys from the group chat yesterday. He got stuck up here. And he just started watching a Netflix series. He just stayed, stayed asleep up here. <laughs> it's kind of comfortable up here. <laughs> it's like, it's quiet at night. It's quiet, it gets super dark. You could just like, you know, recline your seat, look up at the stars and just like snooze. But we don't want to snooze right now. It's 6.20 p.m. Let's turn on all the categories. All right. Now, if it asks me to head over to the lot, I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and do that. Uber X, 135 to 100, uh, 131 to 135. Fucking, fucking mosquito in this car. So we're just gonna wait for a ride here. At the... oh. Holy shit! Look at this reservation. 122 dollars. Miami Airport to Fort Myers. It's gonna take me an hour and 20, 128 minutes. So that's a two hour drive to Fort Myers at 10.30 p.m. for $122. Let me screen grab this to talk about it here. Now let's think about this, hope that mosquito flew away. So, $122. I'm not going to get back. If I, if I accept that ride, let's suppose the ride comes in right on time, 10.30 p.m. 11.30, 12.30, I'm at Fort Myers. 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, back to Miami to charge. I mean, if I'm at 200 by then, this would put me at $322. I just don't have it in me. I, I wanna go to Hertz tomorrow. I don't wanna make this a big, I don't wanna make this a fucking long night. That's why I started early. So we're not accepting that, that reservation. But it's interesting to see it. I'm sure somebody will do it. God, 
damn it. If you had a comfort vehicle that was a gas car, though, how is that making sense for you, bro? You're, you're minus a 45 to $50 because you're going to spend a, an entire tank of gas going to and from Fort Myers. So you're going to do that for 80 bucks. I guess some people would do it. I mean, you, they could be tipping you. I don't think that that's a good reservation. Maybe if it was to Jupiter or West Palm Beach, I would do it for that price at that time. But not not Naples or Fort Myers or wherever the hell. Man. The line is moving a little slow. 122X cars. Yeah, if it tells me here at the Fort Lauderdale airport, it says, hey, head over to the pickup area and we'll send you a ride. But it doesn't tell you what the ride is. And I think if I get that alert, I'm just taking it because I want to get out of here. I don't know. I'm just <sighs> kind of hungry, too. I haven't eaten anything all day. Maybe yesterday was a better day to vlog than today. Yesterday was eventful. I had premiere rides, comfort rides. I had I was going all over the beach, Coral Gables, went to Key Biscayne. I had a little adventure yesterday. Today, I just went to Fort Lauderdale. So far, that's the vlog. And I met Vinny. Well, that's good. But now I got to get back onto the flow. Okay, well, an interesting thing happened. I just got another comfort reservation to Fort Myers. Is it the same one? Let's see. I, I'm screen grabbed both of them, so. Yep. Flight MIA 2245. It's the same reservation. It went from 122 to 133. I guess nobody accepted it or people were canceling it. Does that happen? When people cancel reservations, it's like, well, maybe we should up the price. Same flight. That's weird. Let's see, what's my number two do that? Like what, an extra $11 is gonna tip the boat on that one? Like, come on. Like for me to drive to four, I, that would, honestly, I'd need two hundo. I need two hundo for that ride. A hundred there and a hundred back, and we're good. That way, that would make this a fucking four hundred dollars Sunday. If I could be at two hundred by ten thirty, and then do a two hundred dollar back and forth ride, then I would take it. But a hundred and twenty dollars, a hundred and thirty dollars, that's a little shitty, man. I'd rather just get some rest. All right, sixteen to Hollywood ain't bad. Hollywood's nearby and it's going south. No, another driver. But anyways, it's asking me to drive towards the... He gave me the message. He gave me the message. So I'm driving towards the terminal and taking whatever they give me. <laughs> I just need to get back into the rhythm, man. I'm out of rhythm. Showed the group chat those two reservations. They're like... I wonder why. Yeah, it's because nobody accepted them. But, yeah, I'm going to need two hundo for that. I ain't going to Naples for under two hundo. 180, maybe I'll do it. 180. That's my limit to go to Naples. It's a long fucking drive, bro. It's not even Naples. It's Fort Myers. It's even longer. So I don't know if I've ever explained this before, but the reason that I don't do Fort Lauderdale Airport consistently like I do the Miami Airport is the freaking the Uber lot is so far from the terminal. It's not like Miami where you can get in and get out and not even have to park in the lot. Here you have to park in the lot and then take this little back road to the terminal. And it's just not as quick. You know, I usually only do one ride out of this damn airport and then I just end up staying wherever it takes me. 
it's not like, I mean, it's possible. You could, like, I could go to Hollywood, drop this guy off and come right back in, try to do another ride. But it takes longer, in my opinion, than the Miami airport. Miami airport, man, you can knock out like two, three rides within the hour. If they're close enough, you know? And if the right radars are hitting one after another, you're not wasting any downtime. Here, there's way too much downtime, in my opinion, in the Fort Lauderdale airport. Now, granted, I don't do it as often as the Miami airport, so I might not have the best strategy at this airport. So what happens here is once you start getting closer to that blue dot, the terminal, it'll throw you a ride. You could still decline it, but we're just going to accept the first ride that comes in. It usually happens when I turn this corner here. Bro, look what came in. A $29 banger to Miami. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. That's what we needed. Hey, look, the bright line. What a picturesque setting. Driving to the Fort Lauderdale Airport as the bright line passes by. On our way to Miami, Florida. It's a beautiful day out. Why, what the fuck? Oh, is this traffic? Shit. So, so much for that positive energy. I hope this guy doesn't cancel on me. Let me tell him that I'm coming so there's some traffic here in Fort Lauderdale well whatever we got what we wanted $29 going back down and we can pretend we never came up here or we could pretend well this is gonna put me over a hundred on the day so we went to Fort Lauderdale and we came back a hundred dollars richer got no problem with that we could we the, the, the day is still young Group chat saying they're in Wynwood. They're getting they're getting rides. Even Uber X is paying all right, and looks like it's getting cloudy down there. So, you know what happens when it starts to rain? Everybody and their mother starts ordering rides. I don't understand what that why that is. All right, I'm in the terminal here at Fort Lauderdale Airport, picking up, and I'll see you in Miami somewhere. All right. Dropped off this guy. God damn it. I had the sniffles, bro. Nothing annoys me more than the fucking... <laughs> Every two seconds, the guy was fucking... I was like, I have tissues back there. Uh, okay. Fuck. All right, I'm by Design District, so... Um, this is not a bad area to be in. Fucking... If I can get out of here. Um... Let's see. I took X and Green off. But I'm hungry, so I think I'm going to go to the Burger King around here. Fucking blowing your nose in my car, bro. I hate, I hate people who make noises with their face. Like with their mouth and their nose. <laughs> people who, like, chew loudly also annoy me. Any kind of... <laughs> you know? so annoying I couldn't wait for this for a fucking ride to end it's like a 30 minute ride because I am in Miami but at least it paid well I'm at 113 and you know what that means it means it's time to put our little 100 stamp on the group chat just to let everyone know where I'm at on the day as you can see here are my frequently used ones I'm gonna use this one all the guys use those premier ones for when they get a premiere ride. They've hijacked my image and my premiere. <laughs> Rolling of the R's. Premiere. <laughs> Everybody does that in the group chat. <laughs> I don't even know where I got it from. I just started saying it. <laughs> I was just excited to get premiere rides and I was like, <laughs> just trying to elongate the word as much as possible <laughs> to to nudge it in their faces that I'm getting premiere rides you know alright Burger King right there let's get something to eat well that Burger King was closed I guess 
Burger King's in the ghetto close early. I don't understand why a Burger King at 7.30 p.m. is closed. But it's closed. I don't think Burger King's doing... This is not financial advice. I don't think Burger King's doing too well, guys. Which is weird because this is the headquarters. This is where, like, there should be the most Burger Kings. And I can, off the top of my head, tell you five locations that there used to be a popular Burger King that no longer operates as a Burger King. It's still, the building is still there. The sign that says Burger King is still there, but it's a fucking abandoned building. One by the airport, one by uh, Miracle Mile, one by, uh, one in the Southwest area, one up here, dozens of them in Fort Lauderdale that are like dead. Burger King is suffering. You know, meanwhile, Taco Bell and McDonald's, they have apps. I just downloaded the Taco Bell app yesterday for the first time and I got a reward or like a free burrito out of it. They're like catching up to the times, you know? Burger King is stuck in the past. I wouldn't be surprised if they, but that would be big news, bro. That would be big news if Burger King files for uh, bankruptcy chapter 11 or whatever right. if that happens you heard it here first and that's just me getting a vibe just from the area where Burger Kings used to flourish and now they're like fucking closed how did I even know there was a Burger King at this drop off it was like right there because I remember eating at those Burger Kings. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to McDonald's. Uh, but now I got the fucking sniffles, bro. I fucking hate that guy. As a matter of fact, now that I'm at the drive-thru and I'm signed off, I'm going to wipe down the fucking back seat and the fucking door handles with these from El Car Wash. Because, bro... He's got all sorts of fucking germs. He was like rolling down the window. Fuck. God damn it, bro. Everybody who gets in this fucking Uber today is gonna get sick. Bro, he's got he's got fucking tissues looking him right in the face. God damn it. Ugh. Damn it, bro. The most annoying little things. Like, I'd rather have a rude customer than someone who's like sick and fucking snotting all over the place. <sighs> this McDonald's has the goddamn screen broken. Look at those clouds, distant thunder in the background. Maybe uh, things are gonna. Spice up a little in a little bit. Kind of just want to call it a day once I hit 200. I don't, I don't want to stay up all night. Not a bad week. It's not a bad week, but it's definitely a grind. I'm starting early every fucking day. And by early, I mean 1.30, 2 p.m., which allows for the 12 hours to hit, you know? It's been giving me warnings sometimes. It tells me, you have an hour of drive time left, two hours of drive time left. Usually that's like at, but between 12 and one in the morning. And it's like, okay, that's fine. If I want to do late night, I could still have an hour left to do it. But if not, I'm just going. The price increase on the charging is affecting my week. I got my McDonald's. I was gonna park here in the parking lot like I used to when I worked at the Herald. And the Herald is down that way. It was down that way. I used to go to this McDonald's and just eat it in my car in the parking lot, but it's like too, it's too many crackheads and weirdos hovering around. They see a parked car, they like swarm on you, bro. This area of fucking Midtown is not, 
I don't know how they're gonna fix this area. This area is fucked. And there's some expensive condos here. Up 36th Avenue, 36th Street. Like, all these condos, even this one right here. It's, it's a luxury condo. But that, all that, it's Edgewater down there. It's not safe to walk up here after dark. Downtown, Midtown Miami is not the best. So, instead of fucking not being able to eat my fucking McDonald's in peace, parked in my car, I'm going to take the causeway to Miami Beach where normal people live and uh, eat it in peace without the stress of somebody coming and tapping on my car or asking me to roll my window down or, you know, like... It sucks, man. I, it's not my fault, but fuck, man. It sucks when you get fucking annoyed with panhandlers and shit. Like, I'm sorry you're in that situation, man. It's like, we're all struggling here. But trust me, I'm closer to the homeless guy on the street than some of these guys I give premiere rides to. That's just a fact. I'm, I'm two fucking bad situations away from fucking panhandling on the street. Are you kidding me? I'm on the fucking thin line. You know? So anyways. I'm crossing over. Anyways, I'm going to activate it in Miami Beach to try to get some rides. It's 8.01 p.m. Probably people going out. Needing transportation. It's not focused. When fries are shit. You know, it used to be like, you get a bad experience at McDonald's and you're like, what What do you expect? It's fucking McDonald's. What, what was this meal? Fucking seven bucks? Whatever. But now... This fucking bounty meal costs you 15 bucks, 15.99, and then the fucking fries are half gone. You order the large fries and they're fucking empty. And they're soggy and stale. You know, like, fuck, man. What the fuck are we paying $15 for? I got the McCrispy this time. You know, they fucking raised their prices, man, but the quality def definitely hasn't gone up, and the amount they give you either. I don't want to turn this into a fucking complaining vlog. Brought to you by McDonald's. You know, next time you go to McDonald's, use the promo code fucking SUS. All right, we finished our our McDonald's, our less than perfect McDonald's. <sighs> Yesterday would have been a better day to vlog. I'm not even in the right state of mind, but I have to do it. I have to do it. logged on here in Miami Beach. Let's see what happens. All right, it looks like it's gonna be an Uber X day. I, I made up my mind. Uh, I just got a ride, $11 from Trader Joe's here on Alton Road to downtown Miami. It's actually not bad. It's a 19 minute trip. <clears throat> so the Uber app says, I mean, it shouldn't be that fucking long to go to Miami Beach to downtown, but it's paying $11.29 or something. So, you know what? I've made a decision. I'm just going to do X because I'm not going to wait for the magical comfort and the premiere rides to show up when the clock's running. And I just want to... I just want to kill time, man. I just want to kill it. I just want to kill it and go home early. Charge by 12 a.m. and be, at, be in bed by 1. That's my plan. 
I'm also watching some movies. I'm I'm, I'm almost done with the holdovers, uh, which I, I really like. And I should talk about this on a live stream, not not on this vlog. And and I'm watching that movie with uh, the girl from Euphoria, that Sydney Sydney Sweeney. She's so hot, She's so hot. I didn't know how hot she was. I never watched Euphoria. But what a body on that girl. Fucking Anyways. Are you kidding me? Picking up here at Trader Joe's. See you at downtown Miami. I don't even know why she would say that. Like, Alright. I love, love those streets. Love these streets, Miami. Your streets are great. Perfect. Perfect. I'm so annoyed. So that was like the worst trip. Not because of the people. The people were cool. They didn't say a word. But um, they lived here off Miami River. And I always get stuck by that goddamn bridge opening up. I swear it must have been over 10 minutes the thing was open. And it was right as I was approaching the thing was coming down. So, and they, they didn't complain or anything. They were just like sitting there and whatever. They're shopping at Trader Joe's. But man, it drained me, man, to the point where it's like, I almost just don't even want to fucking continue. I need to take a break or something, man. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. It's just so early too. Let's see how the airport's doing. No surges. I'm just gonna turn everything on again. See what I get. Okay, I got, turned on everything and I got two Uber X offers going back to the beach. One of them was for 13, the other one was for 10. I declined them. Uh, group chat saying that the airport is sending rides $22 to the beach, so I'd rather just do that. So I'm going to the airport. I'm gonna try to do some airport runs. But I don't wanna film them. But this is a perfect time to do a diamond transition. Cause right now, I'm kind of in a slouchy mood, getting annoyed, overthinking things. I'm pissed off that bridge opened for so long. I got other things on my mind. I should have vlogged yesterday instead of today. Man, it would have been a positive vlog already up on YouTube had I have vlogged yesterday. Yesterday was great. And then every time I decide to take the fucking camera out, I don't know, I just get in a pissy mood. I just think that that's just diamond transition, man. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna sulk. I mean it's like all I do is complain on this goddamn channel. All I do is complain and, and I'm starting to get sick of it. So let's diamond transition into hopefully a more peaceful, a more tranquil, a more accepting of his fate, Mario. Diamond transition. Diamond transition. Diamond transition. Diamond transition. All right. We are at the Four Seasons Brickle. Why am I at the Four Seasons Brickle? Well, because I've been doing premiere babies. Let's see. All right, this guy tipped me, a little x-ray I did on South Beach. The traffic's crazy. I'm at 188 bucks and it's 11 o'clock. Let me do a little recap. So I went to the airport. Man, I wasn't feeling it, man. First of all, the airport has uh, surge pay for everyone except me. So everybody's getting $5 extra on airport rides, plus whatever sur uh, surge, um, or whatever, Quest. I forgot what I was just saying. Some people have, is it Quest? What the fuck are these bullshit names, Uber? Boost. There's boost pay at the fucking airport, except for me. So, I was getting some regular ass fucking rides showing up at that airport. So I said, all right, well, whatever, let's just find my way back to the beach. So I took like a $15 ride to the beach. Kid I brought 
over there said he worked for um, Red Bull um, video game whatever something or other he's here for the F1 and I go boom people are coming down here for F1 already so I'm like let me just chill on the beach the traffic's crazy 195 was cut off the A36 got it has a lane fucking closure like always so it's like just a pain in the ass to do rides from the airport so I said you know what let's stay in Miami Beach I did an X ride I did a premier ride and I said uh oh is premier ride back are the premier rides back and then I just got this $23 premier ride from Miami Beach to, to Brickell so and these were wealthy people picked, picked them up on Española way four seasons they're dressed nice uh, from the Netherlands so I'm like all right the foreign money is 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 here. It's coming. Is is in. It's we're we're right in the precipice, right at the precipice uh, of this week, this race week. Because as the kid told me, he's like, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of events before the race. The race is the third, fourth, and fifth. But I'm sure this week people are going to be coming down. People are going to be doing satellite events. So, I'm here. I'm in Premier. Will I go back to the airport? People are telling me it's, well, now there's a $1.25 surge. I-95 was closed on the way down. I had to take Brickle and uh, Biscayne over here. And nothing. I'm gonna hang back around here in Brickell for a little bit, see if anything rings. If not, I'll go back to the airport lot. But I'm like, what, 12 bucks away from 200, and it's 11 o'clock, so we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. But like I said, I do not wanna make this an all-nighter. This is not, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just, I kind of just want to end my night, but I'm scared that Premiere is going to start hitting after I decide to call it quits. So I'm just, I'm lingering. I'm lingering. All right. All right, I'm going to throw this freaking soda away. It's been bothering me in my car. Let's get out of here, guys. Downtown looks nice, but uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna go to the airport, might be to get one more ride, charge, and then call it a day. There's no sense in killing yourself on Sunday nights, I've learned. Unless, of course, those premier rides start hitting, but I don't see anything hitting, and I don't see any surge areas. Kind of a weird night. Is it a transitional night? I think maybe tomorrow the airport's gonna blow up. Right? If not tomorrow, definitely Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Because Friday's the first race. All right. Leaving Bayside. Battery's running out. I'll see you at the airport. Okay, I am at the airport lot there's no surge the uber x is full and the other categories are behind and they've let everybody in the lot so now everybody's doing the little circle dance in here without available parking spots so this is just like a nightmare I actually just would rather just get out of this lot and try to get into the second lot. This is what's frustrating, especially like right now if you get an if you get a ride, like you have to wait for all of this mess to figure itself out. So, not my not my favorite time to be at the airport when the lot is too full and the the rides aren't coming in. 
All right, so I went to lot two, found a space, and now I am, well, there's a $1.75 surge at the airport, and I coffee cupped it. So, waiting for a ride. Uber X still says full for me. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the first radar that isn't too far and will help me break 200. And then I'm going to charge in South Miami Dade Land Station, which is at 20 cents because all the fucking superchargers went up. It's at 20 cents when it used to be 13. Well, nothing is ringing, and it's already 11.48. I kind of want to use the porta-potties. The porta-potties here on lot two of the Miami International Airport are not the best. It's like a fucking barrel of fucking bacteria and piss. And you just... In, <laughs> just lock yourself in that barrel. And it's horrible. I've debated bringing the cameras into that porta potty just to document it. But it's, I don't know, it's just too gross. It's too... You stand up and there's like the vents on the top of the porta potty. And when you're in there taking a piss and you look at outside lot, the outside, like the cops circling around and the cars parked outside, it's just like you ask yourself, what am I doing here? This is so inhumane. No one should have to be... No one should have to pee here. How often do they clean those things out? And, like, what do they do at during the daytime? All that shit and piss in the fucking hot sun. Just marinating. <laughs> I think I just... Talked myself into not taking a pee. I'm just going to wait for the next ride and then go home and uh, charge at Dadeland. All right, Uber X says 66 to 70 cars, so it is going down now. Maybe now we have a next wave of people arriving. But you see how towards the end of the night, the demand starts dwindling, even here at the airport. That's how it's been the rest of this week. That's why I've been starting early and kind of ending my night right around this time, around midnight, one in the morning. If I see some other rides around the street, I'll pick them up. But I've been ending my nights early, which is a delightful welcome. It's quite welcome because I kind of don't like going to bed so late and then wasting all the, the morning and the afternoon so tomorrow I think I'm going to go to Hertz see if I can get the maintenance done on this car Be have the car ready for F1 this week no radars nothing Almost just want to leave. I'll wait it out. I gotta get at least a twelve dollar order off here.
All right, man, the X is moving down. It's at 11 to 15. But there's no, no radars usually at this point. There'd be radars, so I don't think there's a lot of rides left at the airport. The lot seems also oddly empty already. I mean, it is 12, but the idea that the airport is going to magically explode tonight is quickly disappearing. Look at this shit. Eight, seven dollars, and I'm, I'm gonna take it. It's right here off Blue Lagoon. This is not gonna get me to 200. Door 18, lower level, and they're gonna record audio. Hello, I'll be in a black Tesla, and I'll have my hazard lights on as I approach door 16 at arrivals, period. Thank you. All right. I'm going to drop this lady off and I'll see you at the supercharger. Hopefully, she, maybe she'll give me a tip. But we're calling it a night. See you at the supercharger. We are here at Dade Land. 25%, let's see. All right, move it up to 100. 45 minutes, this is a slow charger. But whatever, we're not gonna probably charge to 90 and just call it a day. All right, I am going to sign off. been a little uneasy in the last couple weeks uh, been working every day been working early kind of no time for anything else I mean I started watching those movies but you know today I'll finish watching the holdovers and finish watching that movie with that hot girl from Euphoria it's nice meeting Vinny today uh, I know I didn't film a lot of that interaction, but it's because, you know, I met him for the first time today and I, you know, we were, you know, you know having a regular conversation, not a, a vlog. <laughs> we weren't, we weren't doing a, an official, uh, vlogging session together. We were just, you know, shooting the crap. Um, but I'll link his video. Or his videos, I'm probably already linked it if you click. Well, you know, it's not below now. I said that on his vlog. If he's going to include the thing that he filmed with me on his vlog. YouTube changed the freaking layout of their website. I think they're going to change it back. It's too, it's too confusing. It's like I'm. we're used to seeing the title of the video and the description right under it. And the thumbs up, thumbs down, the subscribe button. But now they changed it, and it's all like small off to the to the right side. I don't I don't know why they did that. I think they wanted to make the the related videos are now under your video, which I guess is small content creators like myself probably shouldn't be complaining. It's probably going to result in our videos getting more views because now anytime anybody's watching a YouTube video. Uh, if you're a recommended video, your 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 layout is bigger. So, you know, whatever. We get used to it. You know, it used to be like I would complain about when companies change their website or their logo or their design of the web or just anything. I was so, like, adverse to change. Like, why did they fix it if it didn't, it wasn't broken? But more recently, I'm like, you know what? I'll just get used to it. And I think the Tesla had a lot to do with that. Because in the Tesla, when you do the pedals and steering, and it said um, creep, roll, or ho hold, uh, the standard is hold. That's the one that saves the most uh, battery. And it, it, it doesn't roll or it doesn't, it, it doesn't fake idling, which will, would cause the battery to, to waste more, waste faster. So I just keep it on hold. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get used to driving the...
car like this. And I'm glad I did because I'm used to it. I like the automatic braking, the regenerative braking. It's like become the way I like to drive. <sighs> All right. So anyways, shout out to Vinny. Watch his videos. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe with a B, B, B. Or if you think I'm sus, did we do a sus meter today? I'm not sure if I did. If you think I'm sus, then sus scribe. All right. I'm out of here, guys. Let's go. And that song I always listen to. I discovered this fucking guy. <laughs> this might all be in blank. Copyright strike.